Hello everyone, I am Gushan Mukherjee, a student of Srinagar Tha College and currently interning with Lexer Company. Today I am going to talk about the perils of the sea. The perils of the sea is one of the most important concept that is there under the marine insurance. As per the marine insurance policy includes mandatory loss due to the perils of the sea. But at the same time, it is one of the most difficult concepts to define and understand. Even though some principles have been evolved for determining whether a particular incident is caused by a peril of the sea or not, it is impossible to come out with a common solution for the same. First, it has to be evaluated on the facts and circumstances of a given case. First, it is beyond human comprehension to predetermine all the incidents that may take place on a ship while at sea. It is completely uncertain and upon God's grace. In certain cases, one of the factors of the loss may be the sea, but it may not be the proximate cause of loss. Sometimes it may be the distant cause of loss. The loss would be covered or not be covered under the loss by the perils of the sea. Only the direct ones will be covered under the loss by the perils of the sea. There has been no statutory definitions of the perils of the sea under the English law. The marine insurance of the 1906 defines only the maritime perils and states that the term perils of the sea are used in a marine insurance policy does not include every casualty and may happen to the subject matter of the insurance on sea. It must be a peril of or due to the sea. In India, the law relating to the marine insurance is incorporated in the Marine Insurance Act 1963. The act is more or less similar to the English Act of 1906. Like the English Act, this act does not define the perils of the sea also. We know about defining only the maritime perils. Section 2E of the Act 1963 defines maritime perils as perils consequent on or incidental to the navigation of the sea, that is to just say, the perils of the sea, fire, war perils, pirates, rovers, thieves, captures, scissors, restraints and detainments of princes and people, jettisons and other perils of the sea, and something of the like kind. While determining whether a particular loss is caused by the perils of the sea or not, the Indian courts rely heavily on the English cases. The English cases are the guidelines. In New India, Assurance Corporation vs. Andrew Fisherman Corporation Society, where the law had stated that the ship sank due to bursting of the shaft, which was resulting in the wider bursting into, and most probably was a latent defect which might have occurred due to a metal fatigue. But it was a held that it was not something directly related to the perils of the sea. The perils of the sea include sinking of the ship, damage to the ship and the cargo due to dashing of the waves, dashing of the ship on the rocks, spoilage of cargo due to seawater, destruction of the ship and cargo by the crew or captain of the ship, piracy and other risks, and does not include the ordinary action of winds and waves. Now, what are the losses that are excluded under the perils of the sea? They are the wear and tear. The term is used to denote the natural decay and deterioration, which invariably happens to a ship or any portion of the ship due to the action of the wind and the waves. Now comes the springing of a leak or the springing from a leak. If the ship consequently develops a leak, it is not a peril of the sea unless it is due to an accident that occurs in the sea. Breakage of goods will be the third condition. If the goods are broken or damaged during the voyage due to the movement of the ship, it is not a peril of the sea and it is not due to the violent action of the waves and consequent laboring of the ship. It is the peril of the sea. 
last two points would be the inherent vice that the insurer will not be liable for any loss or defect in the goods if the fruits are rotten or the wine becomes bad due to some inherent decomposition the proximate cause has to be there due to the death of animals due to the natural causes or for any other reasons will not be deemed to be a peril of the sea the peril of the sea will actually be a very important part of the marine insurance to get more information like that kindly subscribe to the channel stay happy